Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Just to recap, I got a special new ability from Swiftblade down there. And now I'm going to go bypass that guard at the upper left corner of town right here. Well, I'm gonna have to show him my technique. Oh, so you've learned the spin attack. It st is still dangerous, but maybe you can handle it. Well, let's see how you do. Show me that spin attack. Okie dokie. Hopefully you don't get cut in the crossfire. Haha. Yeah, that's the one! But there are monsters out there, kid. You just make sure you're careful. I'm a little disappointed that I wasn't able to cut you in my crossfire because I am sure that I can handle myself without the spin attack. <laughs> anyway, let's go through here. And this is a Keaton. What they like to do is they like to bump... Oh, there is a... I thought she would seen one of these rocks shaking. Uh, they like to bump the rupees out of you and also cause damage. Hey, Keaton. Like that. Then they... They kind of, yeah, they kind of vanish really quickly, and it's, yeah. <laughs> uh, ooh, Mysterious Shell. Yeah, you can find them as drops. Uh, but go down here, switch to your bombs, unless you already have them out. Bomb that wall, because we need what's beyond this wall in order to prog <clears throat> progress. Oh, look at that. It's a business scrub. You guys really need to wear masks when you talk. Okay, you got me! Let me make it up to ya! You can have this most deluxe of all bottle for only 20 rupees. So what do you say, huh? Absolutely! Bottles are one of the best items in Zelda games. Pretty much any Zelda game because you can carry so many kinds of things and yeah, you're welcome. That is a bargain for how much use you are going to get out of this bottle. Uh, you can't do anything with this or these glowy, glowy spaces, but do remember that spot for later. Um, Royal Valley and Mount Crenel. Mount Crenel is where you want... Oh, jeez, ambush! That was not fair. I'm just going to show you around here. I don't think there's anything... Yeah, if you tap walls that are um, blow upable, <laughs> so to speak, it'll, um, it'll make a different sound than this. It'll make a more hollow sound, but yeah, this is all uh, blocked off to my access right now. Just wanted to show you this path for later. Oop, right in the water you go. Uh, here's another odd wall. And over here is Mount Crenel's base. Awesome music. Listen to it. Listen to it. Let's go in here and see what this business scrub has to say about my recent invasion into his home. Okay, you got me. I'll make it up to you by telling you something good. A friend of mine in the cave just east of here in Chilby Highlands has an item. If you're planning on going up Mount Crenel, I think you might need it. He's referring to uh, the bottle in case you missed the bottle on your way through here. And, you know, I would really like to have some bombs, if at all possible. Because I'm going to need a bunch of bombs. Um, if you don't have 20 rupees for that bottle, there's a nice red rupee up here which will give you 20 rupees. Very nice. It's another example of the designers thinking of everything, just so that you have a nice gameplay flow. And equip that bottle, stand here next to the water, and you will fill it up with the water when you swing the bottle. Pour it on here and listen to the sound effect. Yep, it's a reference to Mario. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I should get uh, more... I don't think I need more water, but I'm just going to take it along with me. I think I need a different kind of water later on. Not this uh, water in specific. I'm going to switch to my gust jar for some stuff that I'd like to show you how to take care of later. Oh, jeez. Got some tektites flopping around. Well, hopping around. Uh, there's a... Oh, jeez. Another bombable wall. This is why I like having... Uh, bombs around here, and I just realized I forgot to chat with the sign. I should say talk to the sign. Dangerous. No climbing. Probably because those rocks. <laughs> There's a fairy fountain, and they recover your health, and you can also get some pocket change in here. So if you're low on energy, come in here, get some fairies. Unfortunately, the pocket change will not respawn. <laughs> Alas, pocket change is always limited. Oops, did not want to... 
Uh, these are like some sort of spiky eggs, I think. Because if you touch them, it actually hurts you. But you can suck them up with the gust jar and... Oh, get! Stop that! Get! No! Don't you dare do that again. Now you're dead, so you will never do that again. Uh, <laughs> over here is another bomb of a wall. I guess I'll do that now. Um, hope I don't have enough bombs to make it up top. It would suck to have to uh, bomb grind my way up here. Um, you know, like have to cut some grass or something until I get a bomb drop or something like that. Unless there's, I think there's actually a business scrub somewhere along the way that you'll be able to um, uh, buy bombs from, which would probably be more convenient. But he charges an arm and a leg for them. <laughs> And I would like to shrink here, if you don't mind. Thank you, Ezlo. And different cutscene for this different object. Wow. It certainly looks a lot different on the inside than it does on the outside. So, this is a perfectly normal looking stone. It's another portal to the Minish world. There may be other rock portals. Keep your eyes peeled, boy. Uh, over here is why I came through this path. Um, through this area right here we've got no oh, don't you dare run into them we've got <laughs> we've got this special kind of water here and I'm gonna have to dump up my water to get this but this is Mount Crenel mineral water and it's piping hot don't worry it's not like Ocarina of Time where you have to race over to the location you need to use it but you do need to use it in this area so be sure to grab some of this water before you go on ahead Otherwise, you're going to be annoyed having the backtrack. I did that before my first play playthrough, and indeed, I was annoyed. <laughs> I'm going to hop down here because it's a nice little shortcut. Um, I think there's yeah, another bomb. Oh, one bomb. I really hope I don't have to go back to town. <laughs> uh, maybe not this one just yet. What's the other one? The other one is progress. Okay, you're the business scrub that sells bombs. Boop. I will buy some bombs just out of the sake of convenience. Yeah, oh, 10 of them, a mere 10 for 30 rupees. But I'm gonna get a lot of rupees along the way anyway. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm happy I don't have to go back to uh, Hyrule Castle Town for the sake of the walkthrough because that would be rather um, inconvenient for all of us. Have to do a cut and or speed things up. So yeah, if you need bombs, go there. Otherwise, you can just go back to Castle Town and get get them cheaper. Uh, I rarely, if ever, use my shield. Um, here are Helmosaurs. You can't hit them in the front. Uh, once you once you pull off their iron mask, these guys are no trouble whatsoever. You can attack them from the back like that normally, but it's much easier to do this. This is also partly why I. Um, have the gust jar out because I know I'm dealing with these things as well as those spiny egg whatchamacallits on the outside there that I'm gonna have to clear along the way and oops <laughs> I don't know why I'm bothering to kill all these critters but I just am I suppose because well, maybe because they're not all that much trouble I don't know it's just fun to kill them <laughs> they're silly little enemy and let's see if there's anything good under the pots no okay and this leads up here got a red choo choo uh, these these ones oh, cutscene ah oh, mm, oh, of course how silly of me hey my boy jump into that whirlwind over there for me <laughs> i wonder is this a great idea or a terrible one? Oh, i think he knows once you're in this whirlwind you can control with the d-pad and move yourself next to an edge and you will automatically pull your well, sometimes you'll automatically pull yourself up. I was able to use the uh, whirlwind to do it there, but yeah, that's a way to travel around this place in case you didn't notice those whirlwinds before. And yes, you will have to use them a bunch of times throughout this game. Over here is... I think I can actually get this now. Uh, a bunch of treasures inside here. But you need three bombs plus the bomb to open this place up. One of which is a heart piece in the center. Uh, even if you um, can swim later on, you still aren't going to be able to climb up here, climb up there. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, blue kinstone piece. And there is another piece of heart. You may have noticed that I haven't been 
um, putting up the usual counter boxes for the piece of hearts. Well, that's because if I do, I'll, I feel I'm going to spoil something regarding them. I'm not going to say what it is or why. I'm not going to spoil anything, like not going to give you hints or anything like that. But um, just, I'll just say that and leave it at that. <laughs> that's why I'm not counting heart pieces. Anyway, clean off this, this stuff, and look at that! That's another reason why you needed, why you needed the gust jar here. Oh, and you can also kill these if you would like to, the little bugs fluttering around there. Um, oh, I can go up there if I would like to as well. I think I'm gonna do that, just for the fun of it. So, go through here. Oh, shoot. By the way, you can't move over these uh, rocky areas. In case you didn't notice, I was dodging them uh, along the way. It wasn't because they hurt me or anything like the um, uh, spiny eggs do. It's just because I can't walk over them. Okay, that was relatively safe. Do not fall for down is death. We went through this many times. Spikes are also death, but down is usually more death than spikes. And got another kinstone piece, collecting them for the future side quests that I'll be doing regarding kinstone pieces. And moving back along. I really wish I could jump these gaps. <laughs> it saved me so much time than having to do that sort of backtracking. <clears throat> anyway, let's go here. Tur oh, shoot! I just realized I messed up. I know I messed up. Because I need... I need that seed, that green seed. So let's go! Yeah, here's a nice little attention to detail um, that this game has. See, like you notice that you can go underneath these uh, branches or tree roots or whatever they happen to be. I think they're actually branches. But uh, over here we've got another one of those seeds. You can lift it up somehow! <laughs> It looks like you wouldn't be able to lift something this large, but you can. But now, you can't walk underneath these things while you're holding that, and that's another nice little attention that to uh, detail this game has. Anyway, let's work our way around them, and... Now what we want to do is take this giant seed, throw it there, into the hole, and now, as you can tell, it, it requires that special mineral water in order for it to sprout, in case you didn't realize that from... Uh, that little display over there. So, equip it. Make sure you're in front of it. Do not mess this up because you do not want to walk all the way back because you missed the bean. <laughs> Climb up the vine, and there we go. New area. Oh yeah. We're nearly at the top of this place, actually. Oh, isn't this a bombable wall? I think... Yep, that's the sound a wall makes when you can blow it up. So, blow it up. <laughs> uh, over here is another warning sign. Uh, yeah, let's see what's in here. It is a heart piece and a bunch of fairies! Woo! Happy days! Uh, but I definitely don't need the extra health from here. Um, but I can't do anything about those special walls. Oh, I never really finished explaining the red choo-choos, did I? They, what they do is that you can, I mean, they hide underneath, well, they, they sort of like go into a puddle mode, and then you can't swing your sword at them. Oh, geez. The rocky, oh, there's two of them there, that's mean. The rocky spiny beetles there, uh, they're much more of a pain at this point because you have to, I mean, they kind of repel the majority of your attacks other than the gust jar. Um, oh, what is this bridge? Oh, what, looks like it's a dead end. Oh, whoops, I dropped the bomb by mistake. Oh, silly me. Oh, I opened up a pathway. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of kind of an obvious little thing there because the bridge is right there. I mean, why would there be a bridge to a dead end after all? Um, I'm not going to bother picking up all those pots. It seems like a, a lot of time wasted. Oh, spiny choo-choos. Uh, when they do that, they are practically invincible to um, all of... I shouldn't say practically, they are invincible. <laughs> um, in here are some um, bombs, always some bombs over there. So blow up that stuff before you collect them. 
because otherwise you'll have a couple of bombs wasted, so to speak. And there you go. As for those spiny choo-choos, what you want? Oh, I pushed them in the wrong order. I am an idiot. I am an idiot, but what else is new? Um, the spiny choo-choos are going to respawn, aren't they? I guess I can... They're not. I was going to say, I guess I can re-explain them to how to defeat them. But basically what you want to do is... Um, you want to make them spiny and then time your sword slash when they turn themselves back to the normal self, you know, when they're vulnerable, and then you'll be able to kill them off easier. Uh, but otherwise, they'll always block your sword slash on their first, um, like when they're just hanging around normally. And so it's just a matter of baiting them into doing what you want them to do. Uh, Krennel Mines, Krennel Wall. Um, you know what I'm gonna... No. Oh. Mm, I'm already at like 15 minutes this part. Maybe what I should do is end it off here because there's still a bunch more puzzles to do. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.